All right. Hello, hello. It is finally the day. I should probably put on some armor, huh? I forgot I need to go get my Excalibur back. Oh, so annoyed. It's okay. All right, what's going on? How we doing? How we doing? Excalibur, what? Why even ask? Oh, maybe for a quest or something? Uh, I need to put mobile back on this. Do I have mobile in my bank? Let me see. I do not. Okay, let's go to the fort. I'm sure I can get a mobile here. Also, since I'm here. that uh, I don't care about any of this we'll reroll these for ancient bones okay no ancient bones I forgot I don't have any nature runes. I forgot. Okay, do I have anything to elk? Yeah, it's all good. It definitely sucks getting one now, but again, or not sucks. It feels worse getting one now, but actually getting one is like, finally, <laughs> after thousands of years. Quick little weapon gizmo. I can't imagine I need more than one. But I went 500 kills dry and just that's when I got my thing.
Okay, what gives mobile again? Oh, this. Isn't this two for, for mobile? Oh. <laughs> no, it's not at all, actually. Uh, I'm running it back. Bruh! Okay, hold on. Let me see how to get mobile. Mobile perk. RS3. The yeah, mobile wise four is so expensive. What the heck? Um, oh, so this is like a 30%. Okay, that's the issue. Also, let me just do all this. I think this is a comp requirement to actually invent all of these. What's going on, John? Thanks for the gifted. Damn. See, now Coach Zoe has... Now she never has to watch an ad again for one month. Stoked to try BBC main hand. What the There heck? it is. Mr. John with the sub. How you doing, boss man? Um, I got basically done, CJ. I finished pretty much everything. I'm like an hour or so away. I just got like really triggered a lot, a lot last night from one of the requirements not explaining itself properly. So I just got off and went to bed. Oh, are you in a different time zone? True, true. Bro, time zones are so cringe. Well, they should just get rid of time zones. It's just the same time everywhere. Oh, that's literally the same time here. Nice. I'll just leave these empty. Wait, can you put the empty gizmos in, in your gizmo bag? No. Yeah, they should just cancel all of the timestamps. Just no more. Okay, so let's just do all of the stuff. No, I don't care about backstory and wait, where's where's Saren? Do I need to activate the, the memoriam device?
And there it is. What's going on, Wal Walter? How much until comp? Like five or like an, an hour, hour and a half. Okay, so what do I need to do first for Saren again? Bow or curtsy? Okay. Okay. Um, oh, I need to do the crystal singing. I forgot about that. I need to do more group bossing. I, honestly, I feel exactly the opposite. I think the more group bossing I do, like the more I never want to play with another person again. Okay, is there a spinning wheel somewhere here? Does anyone know if there's a spinning wheel in Prif? Yeah, like, I don't mind helping people, and then, like, as a content creator, it's obviously, like, good for me and good for my brand that I'm a helpful guy, but... It's also a mindset thing, right? Like, bossing for money. Cattered has a loom. Okay, word. Oh, I need to take off this dumbass head. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Now I'm looking fresh. Bro, that's so crazy that Arcanist is coming back. That game was so fun. I hope it's aged well. I feel like the gameplay is still fine. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, I feel like it'll be fine either way. Okay. So. Lord. Where's this Lord? Oh my god, his examine option is his skin has the texture of tree bark. What kind of examine option is that? Okay, is that all I need to do? Just literally talk to him once? Lord Heffin. RS3. Oh, she's the one in the middle of the agility course. Okay. Yeah, that's sick. I mean, I remember the the original game. I liked the um, the flame guy because you just shoot them like straight up in the air with a slight angle, and it would just obliterate the entire map. His like volley attack, it was so toxic. Okay, so now we need to go to. Uh, half an agility course. Yeah, I remember that guy was like nuts.
It was like a multiple fire things, but they would do so much damage to the map that like you could just ruin the game by just shooting it in, in the air. Man, this achievement was horrible. Do 100 laps, or I think it was like 180 laps or something. That was bad with this thing. Yeah, more more Tanya's done. We're like basically done. It's just a good amount of achievements. Uh you can't like fast level the hard ones. Oh, does that not count? Hold on, that, that that might not count. Yeah, you can't take shortcuts. That's unfortunate. Thanks, Caleb. I appreciate it. Say the Mauritania tasks take take a long time. Uh, temple tracking. Ten, temple tracking is like four hours. Yeah, I'm just gonna go all the way up. I don't think I can take any shortcuts. Yeah, the fastest way to level the hard ones is to only do hard treks. That's that's it. Or to only do the hard rooms. Am I having a stroke? What what's going on? Why isn't this working? What's the name of this achievement? Long way from home. Okay. Long way from home, RS3. Okay, so let me turn off velocity and try it again. Says that there's a bug with this where it won't activate if you have velocity. Yeah, if this lap doesn't work, I'll turn off my familiar override. Okay, that didn't work. Uh, oh, well, let me check my currency pouch also. As I said, it doesn't work with half an agility uh, multipliers. I think there they would be in my currency pouch. Yeah, hold on. Let me talk to Morvin really quick. Or wait, where where do you focus your multipliers? Or your yeah, where where do you focus them? Yeah. I might have it turned on. Isn't that guy in Melier? Yeah, I think I turned all of my enhancers on. Wait. These are damage enhancers. Where are the other... Oh, no. Okay, they're all here. Okay. So that's just not it. So let's turn off the familiar override, I guess.
Where is Mr. Zog? Okay. Um. Yeah, let me see if I have any of these. Heffin. Okay, I don't have any of these, so let's just try it again. I, if it doesn't work now, I can't imagine why it wouldn't be working. What's going on, Foley? How, how we doing? Okay, so this should work. I can't imagine why it wouldn't work now. Like, imagine not being able to complete the task system t today because, oh, my account has, like, a bug that hasn't been patched out yet. Nice. So the game couldn't tell that my light creature was a light creature because it looked like Zuck. Even though its name says light creature. I understand. Yeah, I no, I I understand. I think that makes perfect sense actually. Yeah, that's not the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my entire life at all. Nope, not even once. Bro, Zuck is sick. You know what, you know what boss pet isn't sick? Vorkath. Where, where, where is he? See, Vorkath sucks because one, the dragon's ugly. But two, he like waddles like he's never walked before. Like the Vorky pet, this this is his first time walking. Like guaranteed it's his first time walking. No, Busy is way better than this. Vorky's cringe. There I said it. Yup, his head is in my is in the back of my leg. So that's cool. Alright, let's see. Who is the cutest boss pet? Uh Shrimpy's kinda gross, I'm gonna be honest. KBD is kinda sick. Uh this is literally just a blood reaver. I don't know what this pet is. Car Carapax is dumb. Proceus is dumb. Do I have the skin for this yet? No. Wait, Miso's kind of got tier. Alright, it might be Miso time for a little bit. I haven't used Miso in a while. Magister pet? Hold on, let's see. Actually, the best pet is Prototype Colossus. Specifically, this one. This is the best pet. We'll, we'll, look at him go. He's such a cutie. He's such a cutie. Yeah, this is the best pet, guaranteed. True, let him know. Okay, no more messing around. Let's get some tasks done.
So this one's the last one we're gonna do. We're, we just need to do harps for like a half hour. Okay. Um. Is Priff worth going for? Yes. Priff is basically mandatory if you want to do any high-end bossing. So I, I would say, yeah, yeah, you have to do it. Okay, so I need a Wimport Seed. We need to fuck up KBD. Okay. Um, I think I disagree with that. Max Guild is really nice. So, even if you don't care about any of the skilling stuff, Priff is really good because you unlock ancient curse or not ancient curses. You unlock combination potions. So, like, this is the best combat potion that you can make if you don't have Priff unlocked. If you do have Priff unlocked, this is the best potion that you can make. And you might think, oh, it's only four levels, or oh, the the prayer points and the poison immunity and the dragon fire immunity. Who who cares? Once you use elder overloads and once you use salves, you you like you're never going back. These are, I would argue, magnitudes better than base overloads. Okay, so let's do this. I still can't believe that guy killed me the other day. That was just so nuts. Or the other day, yesterday. Bro, he killed me for, oh, I need to Repark my offhand Excalibur. It was literally just to inconvenience me. Luckily, I didn't have any expensive perks on it. If I would have had expensive perks, I would have been super annoyed. I would have been pretty annoyed in the bottom left. Uh, which 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 is left? Down left. Uh, this. What's going on, McNee? How we doing? Thanks for 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 the raid. Oh, these are towel ports. The, like, there's like too many of these. Or I have too many of these. I don't need this many. They're uh, Waiko, Whales, Maw, and Amanishi. Yeah, we're doing okay today. We should be comping in about an hour. So that's exciting. Okay, loot a chest in the Magic Axe Hut. Okay, let me see if there's any weird requirements. Don't ask for permission, R3. Requires a lockpick, okay? Isn't this just be scald and talk to him? Uh, you can put them in the book. The the issue is uh, my book is full, so. 
Um, it depends on what your like big goals are. If your goal is I want the fastest invention experience, period, then um it's just gonna depend on what skill you're you're training. If your goal is like I'm doing another thing anyways, then just having it augmented is the best way. Okay, we're we're getting merched again. The marchers, they just can't get enough. Yeah, just AFK combat in, in, in general. Or probably uh, Abyssal Beasts are probably the, the best way. Oh, uh, let me see. How, how, how do you make a... Uh, how do you make a pizza? Tomato, cheese, anchovies. Okay. I've never done it, but I know that there are people who, who have, so. No, they gutted Shattered Worlds because the XP was too good. What's going on, Shadow? How we doing? Oh, maybe. I don't actually know what it is. I just saw less XP and I'm like, well, less XP is less better. Wow, 10k for anchovies. Sick. Okay, let me go and do my Scald task first. Yeah, yeah. Your grouping and your lores is like the single most important thing to doing Zuck. It just makes it so much easier. And, and faster, which is, you know, that's probably the best part. Yeah, eventually I'd like to get back to Zuck. I just haven't been super motivated to hardcore grind anything, so. But eventually I'd like to get back there. Okay, so I'm Skull, so the bandit, the bandit should realize that I'm one of them. Also, if I get PK'd now, it's guaranteed a stream sniper, because I'm literally here with the ingredients for a pizza. I just use this on him okay there's a not there's the general store guy here where is he about to come get me that pizza my true okay is that the only thing I need to do in the bandit camp I wasn't paying attention Yeah, that's basically it. Okay.
Yeah, the task system is really nice. Like, I wish I would have focused on doing this earlier. Because the task system is just so good for doing stuff around RuneScape. Okay, so... Withdraw this, withdraw this. Withdraw this. Withdraw this. Yeah, like, if I were to make a new account, I'd probably, like... Honestly, I feel like getting unlocking invention um getting 120 archaeology getting a quest cape getting taskmaster i feel like that's the best way to like level a new account because then if you want to do anything like you just can't there's nothing that you can do yeah exactly Like, it is, like, a thousand hours of not interacting with the game. Can you eat the cheese? Do I have cheese somewhere? For the viewer? I, I, don't, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know where... Okay. I don't know where my weapons are. Okay, let me go to here so I don't get scammed. Yeah, yeah, I'm literally, that's what I'm doing now. I, I have one more that's keepsake. Okay, so Waka Canoe, that's that's this. Oh, okay, I see. Uh, I don't think I have a delay. Yeah, I was gonna say, I think I'm chilling. Where is KBD? By Glacors. I don't know where it is. No, I, I need to go through the the uh, wilderness uh, thing. It's my lava maze. Okay. Uh, we need to go to Rose Castle, so we'll just go up here. It's been a while since I've been PKing. The last time I was seriously into PKing was... Man, I don't even remember. 2011? Oh my god, I'm getting obliterated! Okay, let me just go in here for a second. 
We need a we need a little breather. Okay, where am I? Okay. No, I I need the the rope. Sorry. I don't think the viewers want to see me completely waste my time. I don't care. Um, Western Ruins. So West is this way. Okay, so we'll we'll go here. I was gonna prime sub if you don't that's unfortunate. I'll disassemble it after I use it. Wait, why is there a magic tree here? What? For who? Oh, I have a limpor plant here. Look at me pl planning ahead. <clears throat> okay, I need a air orb. I'm, I forgot. I literally forgot what achievement I was doing. Okay, near the boneyard. Okay, where is the boneyard? Okay, so this is KVD. So we'll just go here. And then the boneyard's over here. Okay. So we'll go to KVD first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ew, this is what Dark Beast will look like now? These are just big dogs. Oh, yeah, I remember seeing this in uh, Old School. I've never gone to KBD the, the, this way. Yeah, I've literally never gone to KBD this way. And there it is. Okay, what else do we got near near the boneyard? So we'll go back here. <clears throat> Honestly, I might go and do the uh, the demon flash mob. This was looking like a boneyard of sorts. I'm 
near the boneyard. Oh, so I just have to look for them. Okay. Oh, they're they're literally right here. Okay. I I use my eyes. Okay. So what else are we doing? We need to get lock picks for this. Okay. Erskine's Wilderness Task. So I just need to do a Wilderness Slayer task. Okay, that's fine. So we need to teleport to Mandrith. Do I need a Jenica's ring for Tor Tormented Wraiths? I knew it. No, okay. Okay, so I need to buy full black ar armor. Otherwise, it won't let me attack it. Oh, wait, I have these. Oh, but I don't want to cancel the order. I'll just buy one. Okay, so we'll do this. We need an uncharged orb. And there it is. Um. I think I need these to charge this orb. Yeah, I definitely need these. What's going on, dude? Okay, so first... Oh, let me go get my Jenka's ring before I forget. Oh, okay, I see. So this is in Edgeville. I don't think it's this one, I think it's down here. Yeah, it's definitely this way.
Mm, actually, I don't remember if it's this way. Oh no, it is this way. Okay, so tormented wraiths are... Is it Dark Warrior's Fortress or Black Knight's Fortress? Dark Warrior's Fortress, okay. So, fastest way to Dark Warrior's Fortress is this. No, I went to sleep and just like instantly when the stream, when I turned the stream off last night, I went to sleep. The last thing we're doing is getting the harmonic dust. So you guys get to hang out and chill while I gather harmonic dust. I forgot I need a lockpick. I'll get two just in case. Okay. All right, we're 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 doing this again. Just put this in here in case I need to get it again. I don't think I'll ever need it again, but just in case. Okay, I can do this all in one task. So let's do this. Bank all of those. Leave that. Bank these. Bank these. ruined my entire bank so let's just just do that In my, in my, I need my gem bag. Okay, this should be everything I need for Abyssal Demons. Go to Mr. Mandrith.
Oh, is this near the Magic Axe Hut? I think it is. Is the Magic Axe Hut, like, right here? Or maybe it's right here. Yes, I did. I almost got PK'd for an Abyssal Scourge, but I one-ticked my Protection Prayer at the last second and saved it. Yeah, getting stream sniped is actually crazy. I was gonna, like... I was gonna hop worlds, like, hide my screen, turn everything off, and hop worlds, but, like, that's just so cringe. Okay, charge an air orb at the obelisk of air. So for that, we go back to Edgeville, which is perfect because we need to go to Erskine. Where is Mr. Erskine? Isn't he just along the wall somewhere? Okay, perfect. Now we go to Edgeville Dungeon. Yeah, but I will say, getting stream sniped in RuneScape 3 in the year 2024 so that someone can try to PK me is not something I thought I would have to deal with. How do I get to the wilderness? Oh, I'm going the wrong way. I need to go north. I need to go other north. Okay, nice. And now we just need the Erskine thing, right? Yeah, nice. So now we go to the Wilderness Lodestone, we do some Abyssal Demons. And we're done with the Wilderness. I'll be nice and hop worlds. I won't be cringe. I think I need anime dad, but I'll turn it on.
Magma Tempest is like kind of nuts now. They like mega buffed it. It does so much damage. Uh, our Artificer's Measure is a gem bag. This is what I have on my Fracture Staff. This is not best in slot, but it's what I have. Oh, a Mega Abyssal Demon has spawned. I should have brought a cannon, but I think at this point, going back and getting a cannon is just not worth the time. So uh, after this, is it just Varrock? Yeah, it's just Varrock and then the Crystal Dust. Also, I don't know why they haven't done it yet, but they should definitely make it so that you can put a uh, an abyssal obelisk or whatever, or the portable obelisk. You should definitely be able to put that in your uh, Passage of the Abyss. I don't know why you can't do that. 15 Adrenaline Crystal, what? Oh, that must be a wilderness only table thing. Okay, we got an Abyssal Whip. Uh, this is where we're at. We need to do all of the Varag tasks and then finish this uh, Wilderness Contract. And then we need to talk to the guy for the Moonstone. Yeah, and it's like not that many tasks left. I did basically everything last night. Let me, well, let me go through the bar task and make sure that none of these are ultra long. Yeah, that's not it. That was not correct. <laughs> okay, those are all free. This is free. Ooh, 
This should be free. Oh, maybe the cat training one is like a million hours. Oh, I need to get the Skull Scepter. Okay. That's gonna take a little bit, but not too long, I don't think. Yeah, these don't seem bad. Okay, let's see. Cat training metal, RS3. Oh, this is gonna, this might take like an hour. <laughs> That's so sad. I wonder, do you get a notification for the cat training medal once you've had it? Thirty-one more, and then we're good to go. Man, this is super annoying. Oh, Ancient Warrior Equipment Patch. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty good. Honestly, at this rate, we might make it to 8 o'clock. And then, in which case, I can just find tra uh, Traveling Merchant. And I don't even have to do it. Honestly, it's probably what we're going to do is add reset. We look for traveling merchant who happens to have harmonic dust. Yeah, we'll see how long everything takes us. I feel like the 100 rats is literally going to take, like, uh, a month. So we'll see how long everything actually takes. Okay, wilderness is done. I forgot, I still have the, the aggression ocean, the aggressive uh, potion on. Yeah, these guards are definitely getting worked.
I guess I want a mobile switch, so we'll just wear this. Um, I think this is actually the fastest way to Gertrude. Wait, how do I pick the color? Change kitten color RS3. Oh, I need a ring of Charos. Okay. All right, dismiss. There's a bought a cat and then abandoned it instantly. Um, what do you mean by which is the best? Like, what's the context? Um, ED2 is almost certainly going to be more money. Especially now, like maybe pre Necro, it would have been different, but right now it's almost certainly ED2. I mean, a thousand necks, that's a lot of necks. That's 50 hours of next. So the question is, do you think you're going to have every single codice in what? 200 ED2 runs? All right. Well, let's, uh, let's get to it. Oh, wait, e e evil Dave is here. We're going to be here for a while. Yeah, so in terms of number of boss kills, that's that's the difference you're going to be looking at. There should be a right click option for, oh, you can just click on the, okay. Wait, that's not the same thing.
Yeah, I mean, if you don't understand what Asorn's doing, then, like, it's, the fight's just gonna take forever. Man, this is actually gonna take an hour, like... Wait, are, do, are Hellcats better hunters? I'm just curious. I don't actually think it matters. So if I click catch on Hellrat, actually, no, I don't think that counts. Okay, so I've gotten three. That's good. I've gotten two. We just need a uh, ninety eight more. I'm surprised at this point in RuneScape's history, or like in RuneScape's development, there isn't a spell that's just like an Instagirl cat. Okay, three. Yeah, they do have it for Solomon store pets, but not for, uh, not for kittens. Or maybe there is. RS3, make cat grow faster. Okay, uh, I don't think you can make them grow faster, but we'll see. Oh my god, after two and a half hours of following a player? This might actually take more than two and a half hours. So I think what I'm supposed to do then is just have this follow me while I... Yeah, that's what I was going to say. 
is just have this follow me and then we'll just do the hundred hunts uh, after we do other stuff. So yeah, we'll just abandon this for now. So let's see. We'll do this. Um, I guess we'll just do the harps now. Okay, so we need 300 and something dust, so that's what we're going to be doing now. Yeah, once we do this. Honestly, is this even slow? Like, it's slow, but it's not like RNG, which is nice. Also, I should probably bank to see how much harmonic dust I have. make some tea since we're AFKing for a little bit. All right, what up? Oh, you know what? I should probably use uh my brooch and silver hawks. It's not much, but we are going to be here for like half hour. Once we get a thousand, we should be all set. Now, I think the wiki side is supposed to retune it whenever it's at 30%, so we'll just do that.
Although maybe you're supposed to retune it at 50. I feel like 50 makes more, more sense. How do you make a wily cap? Oh, you need an overgrown cat. Well, that's not good. Yeah, retune it at 10%. That is psychotic. Yeah, because I think a 50% catch rate from a regular cat. That's so much more than 15% from a kitten. Like, that's so much more. Also, will I get a notification that this cat has 100, 100 rats or no? What's going on, Hunter? How are we doing? Oh, there's a couple of things I need to do as well. Yeah, I need to get the Lumbridge Shield, the Mauritania stuff, the Tier 1 stuff, and the Wilderness stuff. So I need to talk to all those people, so I won't check them. Or I won't, like, check the boxes off. But yeah, I'll just feed my cat whenever I get the thing that says it's getting hungry. Do you only need to play with your kitten once? Um, to like reset its happiness or do you need to like spam it? I feel like you only need to press it once, but I don't actually know. Seven minutes. Seven minutes is all I can spare to play with you. Thanks to Bob for the follow. Appreciate it. Happiness is about So I know if it complains about wanting attention, then, and I don't do anything, it'll run away. So I know that's a thing. But I don't know if, like, its attention meter resets to zero if I play with it once, or if it, like, goes from 90% to 80%.
Now, this is where we're at. This is just talk to a guy, I feel like. I'd be very surprised if that was more in depth than talk talk to a guy. Uh, trim is going to happen. Uh, all of these mastery of the sources, this is just talk to guys. So, like, this is going to happen. It's just going to be a while, obviously. Like, fish flingers is lame. Okay, Voice of Saren's active in the Ithil district. I'll say, I think the offhand. Yeah, yeah, like it literally does nothing because I have the offhand. Uh, I'm basically done with player own farms. Um, I need a shiny Jadinko, that's or sorry, I need a Draconic, so that's just RNG. Um, unfortunately, I have really bad RNG with Draconics. Uh, all five of, Dr of the Draconics that I've gotten have been shiny, so that sucked. Um, but yeah, I'm missing the shinies for four dinosaurs and I'm missing a red dragon. I just have a green dragon. So I'm hoping that they will eventually give me a red dragon, but that's what I'm missing is one red dragon. And then four shinies. And then because I have so much other stuff that's time gated, it's like, I'm not even going to bother. If that ends up being the last thing I need for trim, then sure. But there's so many things that are time gated that I just have dragons in there whenever they happen, they happen. Okay, I will be right back again. All right, I'm back. Um, 
MQC next. I'm making an iron next. After the the iron is probably not going to be end game or like where I want it to be for it to be fun for like a couple months. So probably on my main, we're going to be doing MCQ and Golden Reaper stuff or M MQC and Golden Reaper stuff. I mean, I've made a lot of progress on Golden Reaper, so, like, I'm not worried. Like, I have a lot of the boss pets. Right now, the big bottlenecks I, I have are... Hard Mode Rago. That's a really big one. Um, AOD is a big one. And... That's basically it. Oh, and, and, and Solak. I, it might be 100 kills before I get a purple mushroom. It might be 1,000. I just don't know. So like Solak could be done in 10 hours or it could be done in 150. I just have no idea. Like I know someone who got their purple mushroom at 4,000 KC. And it's like, that's, that's a lot of Solak. <laughs> but yeah, it's AOD weapons, Vitalis and Solak are like the massive, massive bottlenecks. Unless you mean the iron, in which case I agree, but it's it, it's fun. So Yeah, irons are, yeah. I mean, it again, it's it's for you guys. So a lot of you guys like watching suffering and horribleness and sadness and evil and treachery, especially when it's happening to other people. Uh, I'm not that interested in 120 all. Uh, well, well, let me rephrase. My goal is 200 mil all, so I'm not like getting every skill to 120 and then getting every skill to, to 200 mil. I'm just getting every skill to 200 mil. So right now we're working on wood cutting, or sorry, right now we're working on mining and runecrafting. Once we finish up mining, um, we're probably moving on to fishing. And then once we finish up runecrafting, we're probably moving to crafting. Because I think all of my gathering skills are really high now. Oh, actually, we're going to do Hunter for uh, at some point. Hunter is probably going to be my next Protean skill after runecrafting. But honestly, I don't mind a Hunter, so I might just do Hunter. The only thing that sucks about Hunter is that big game Hunter is really bad XP. Like, really bad XP. Like, I'm trying to think what's actually the best XP that I need to be using. Are Grenwall even good XP anymore, or do people not care about Grenwall? Or is Grenwall just like a money making? Uh, 
do do we have rates on like what the hunter xp is because if it's even close to competitive then like i'm, I'm down oh you know B big game hunter is actually pretty good xp if you're uh if you only do tier threes Like, what's the XP per hour on regular Grand Walls? Crystallized Grand Walls is 500k, but, like, that's just not it. I know Jodinko's with Protean, but I only really want to do that on double XP. So the question is, what am I doing off double XP? Yeah, maybe I just train Hunter at uh, Corosius. I think that's the move. Yeah, I think that that's the move. And then do Jodinko's on double XP and then just off double XP. Actually, I think what I'm going to do instead or what I'm going to do is just do Croceus on Hunter until I have Log, and then once I have Log, then we do something else. Like, then we actually train it, train it. I think that's the move. That makes the most sense to me. But yeah, basically the way my schedule is going to be moving forward now that comp is done. Well, so I looked it up and doing Croceus is like 400k XP an hour. So like I'm I'm down for that, you know. <laughs> but basically the plan for streams moving forward is two two days a week is going to be uh, main stuff. So one day a week is going to be like group PVMing. So Croceus with chat. Um, you're now able to earn more marks of war. What was I doing that? Oh, I killed KBD once. Okay, I see. Um, but it's going to be Croceus with chat, AOD with chat, possibly Solak with chat. Um, I haven't done any group Solak, so I don't remember how to base, but those are going to be ha happening um and then another day is going to be just main progress in in general so either solo golden reaper stuff uh master quest cape stuff trim stuff just depends on what i'm feeling that day and then the last the well, the last two streams are going to be iron stuff so probably quests for quite a while um, but yeah, I need to like find out how to organize my irons time because that's going to be the big thing. It, like probably what I'll do is on stream, we will be doing gathering or like training skills for quests and then doing quests and then off stream is going to be archaeology. Like, just literally divination archaeology. Because yeah, what do you need to unlock invention? It's divination, crafting, and smithing. Yeah. 
Yeah, so I think the first thing we're doing on the account, or the first thing I'm doing off stream is 80 divination. All right, once this hits 50% again, I'm going to retune it and then go get my tea. The only thing that's annoying about Master Quest Cape is so many of the requirements are like, talk to a guy. And that's just really annoying. Because, like, you'll look at Master Quest Cape, like, you'll, you, you'll look here, right? You're here, and you're like, oh, you know, Completionist Cape. Okay, that's, like, a lot of stuff, but, like, it's not that much stuff. Then you look at Trim, and you're like, oh, so, like, Trim is, like, not even that bad. Like, once you have Comp, Trimming is, like... The number of requirements isn't that crazy. Then you'll get Master Quest Cape. And it's just like, this is so much. But so many of these are, yeah, I just talk to a guy. <laughs> like, this is talk to a guy. I think this is a Damonheim one. Yeah, this is a Damonheim one. There's a, a ton of them that are just go through Damonheim. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, that's the big issue of Master Quest Cape is that, like, it's like 80% of them are talk to a guy. And then the other 20% are this is either a 20 minute grind or a 20 hour grind. It's like, okay, sick. All right, I will be right back. I'm gonna get my AT. Why are you grinding harmonic dust? Uh, one of the elite requirements is to make uh, an attuned weapon. And you need a thousand harmonic dust for an attuned weapon. So, yeah. Luckily, I had the attuned crystal seed. If I didn't have that, this was like a multi-day grind trying to get the attuned seed. Because you just have to sit at crystal shapeshifters for like a one in a thousand drop. It's probably even rarer than that, honestly. So, yes, but it's more of like a time management thing. So, I need to wait for this Hellcat to be an adult anyways. Because it's just going to take a million years to hunt 100 rats with a 15% cat, uh, catch rate. So, I need to wait for this to be an adult anyways. So, if I have to wait anyways, I might as well just do this now. Since chances are I'll be able to finish the rest of the requirements in, you know, less than an hour and a half. How's the grind doing? We're just about done. Um, We need to wait for our kitten to become an adult to finish the Varrock stuff. Well, to efficiently finish the Varrock stuff. 
So we're just doing the harmonic dust now because it just makes more sense to do it now while we have to wait. Have you checked your POH for a cat? It's not in my, my POH. So unfortunately I messed up the other day. Uh, I had an adult cat and I wanted to put it away. So I hit the dismiss button and it ran away. Because apparently if you dismiss now on the cat, it runs away instead of getting picked up without having a overlay thing. Oh, wait, does she have my weapon seed? No, it's in the bank. Which, as you know, is ultra annoying, but you know, that's that's what happened. So we have to wait the two and a half hours. I'm just going to make a main hand just in case. Okay, nice. Uh, guess what? Disassemble. Oh, wait, no, we convert this back. I think I have a Chrome. I honestly, I have Chroming four on my main hand. I'm just not even bothering. Or I have it on my uh, fracture staff. My fracture staff is Chroming four, and my, and then I have aftershock four precise two. Okay, so now I have a one harmonic dust. Okay, so where are we? Yeah, why not? Perks don't really matter in my opinion, but that's just me. Okay, buy a copy of the Vara Herald. I need a bone. Okay. Uh, it's not a big difference. And these aren't even, like, not best in slot by that much. Because what would I be missing? Because this should be Aftershock 2. It should be Equilibrium 4, Aftershock 2. And Precise 6, um, Ruth, Ruthless 1. So, Aftershock 4, Precise 2 is very, very slightly more damage. Fastest method for two Noxious components. Um... Buying a Noxious Longbow and leveling it to 9 and blowing it up. Which sucks, by the, by the way, but that's just what it is. Yeah, I mean, that... That's what happens, unfortunately. Yeah, that checks out. I just don't care about meta perks. Uh, cheapest is AFK and Corpse Spiders or Turoths. I would only AFK Turoths if you have an extra Chroming 4 laying, laying around. Otherwise, AFK and Corpse Spiders. I'm having, like, an Omega Stroke right now. Okay. Yeah, or AFK and Skeletons.
Oh, uh, actually, let me check all of the requirements. Okay, double strength, weak sauce. Five coins, Olympic root, and spider eggs. Having a loot tab is so nice for this. Uh, what did I just do? I just ruined the game. I don't know what I just did. Okay, whatever. Um, okay. One. Two. We'll withdraw two of these because I don't know how many I, I need. Okay, um... Enchant... Oh, you know what? Here, we'll deposit these. Because we need to go get red spider eggs anyways. Make a maple plank. Oh, I don't have any maple logs. Okay, we'll buy some maple logs. Yeah, Greater Sunshine was good stuff. Especially if you had the cyber components already. Okay, so I'm trying to think. I don't think I need anything else. I think we can chill. So we'll withdraw a bunch of food for the kitten. I mean, I fed it once. I don't need this much food. Oh, I need a big bone. I remember. LC Varok R3. Okay, so this lady is at the church. I need to find a stray dog and give him a bone. Okay, I have no do I have no idea where he is. Okay, so who sells the Varrock Herald? Oh. Well that was easy. Okay. Chant an Earth Tiara on the Earth Altar. How do you do that? Word. Do I have an Earth Talisman? I do. Do I have a Tiara? No, I'm pissed. Okay, well, while I'm here and I still remember, let's go to Barbarian Build. Actually, no, we'll just do this.
Why is the earth altar so big? I'm so confused. You probably can. It's just not necessary, I, I don't think. Like, over this kitten's entire lifetime, it needs 10 food. Like, that's fine. Okay. Nope, not there. Yeah, I don't think I have any of them. I don't think I've ever... I don't even know where magnetic minnows are, I'm gonna be honest. Oh, because it's one pile, so, like, it just rotted the whole slot. Nope, I think we're good. I don't think there's anything I don't know how to do. Yeah, that's so sad. Okay, where is my kitten? Okay, so now we need to go back to Varrock. Or actually, let's go to the fort. There's two things I need to do in the fort. Okay, that's done. Now we need to go back to Varrock. Yeah, temple trucking is not bad at all. It's a couple hours and the hard ones are pretty obnoxious, but the easy and medium ones are like super simple. Wait, okay, I, I, I need to read. Does she want a cup of tea or something? Okay. Um... It's hard to say. I don't think comp is one of those things where, like, any of the activities are, like, ultra enjoyable. Uh, that being said, I think the best achievement is the uh, quest cape, just because I think quests are really good in RuneScape. Uh, I have three trait cows. I don't have SGR cows, I don't think. Or actually, let me check. I, I might. I probably don't, but I might.
Are you a genius? I hope so. Otherwise, I've got a lot of explaining to do. I'm working on 120s now. Yeah, well, 120 all is nice. I'll get it eventually, but I like... I'm just doing it the hard way where I get each skill to 200 mil before switching instead of 120 before switching. Oh, wait. I'm going wrong. Uh, I will neither confirm nor deny the answer to that question. So I go in here and get red spider eggs and I can just leave. Okay, and then we go back to Varrock. Wait, where's the apothecary? Oh, wait, no. Hold on. Aubrey is not the apothecary. But don't I need to talk to Aubrey for something? No, never mind. Yeah, I am eventually going to get 200 mil all. What's going on, CJ? How we doing? 6 a.m.? Where are you? <laughs> So I need to talk to Aubrey for something, but I guess not. True. Okay, so I need a tree. Let me go and do this while I remember. You're not wrong. So easy's done. Take the Dagon High shortcut. Isn't that here? Uh, isn't that in South Varrock? Oh, hold on. let me go into the garden because I need to pick a fruit from the white tree. Where is it taking me? No, th I don't agree that it's the fastest way. It's not possible. Oh, it is. Okay, never mind. Never mind. You, uh, for Relica, you also need to do 250 laps of the Advanced Barbarian Agility course. Oh, 
Oh no, it's not the fastest way. Okay, I just trolled. It's like three hours of you trying your hardest. Says so there's a tree patch here. I disagree. Oh, at castle entrance? Okay. Oh, I see it. Wait, I'm OP. Wait, what do I need to do here? Oh, I need to use the Inferno Odds, eh? How do I get that? Inferno Odds, eh? RS3. How do I reclaim it, rather? Talking to King Rold. Where's King Rold? Isn't he, like, in here? Oh, he's right here. Nice. What's going on, Forever Bound? How are we doing? Very nice. Wait, can this thing proc? Okay, thank you. I'm like, wait, not like this. True, I mean, that's the point. I think a lot of guides do a lot that make, uh, that make it a lot harder to learn. So that's kind of the point of my guides. Nice. Really good. Where even is the Sentiston Altar? Oh, I, I remember. I remember. Uh, I wonder if I have any rune bars. Oh, I do. That's convenient. Yeah, I mean, there's also a lot of people that don't understand why people struggle with certain content. Like, I'm in a RuneScape uh, Facebook group, and then, like, some guy was like, hey, guys, I'm really struggling with Rassiel. I'd appreciate if someone could help me, like, understand what's what I'm doing wrong. Then some guy was like, uh, yeah, so you want all of these perks. Uh, you want best-in-slot perks. On top of best-in-slot perks, so you always want to go to PVME and uh, copy their rotation exactly. And then uh, once you do that, you'll go from not getting kills to getting a minute and ten. And then, like, 10 people are like, this is the greatest comment anyone's ever posted. Like, this is this is the perfect advice. It's like, 
You didn't say anything. Also, none of that's true. Like, sure, you can get your kill times lower, but, like, the regular people can't take advantage of PVME. Like, you need to be a pretty elite player to even understand what's happening on PVME. Like, I think I'm okay at the game. Even for me, PVME is, like, too dense sometimes. Like, I'm trying to figure out, okay, what should I be, be doing? And then the, the PVME guys aren't telling you anything. It's just a bunch of ability icons. It's like, okay... Well, what if I press the wrong ability here? It's like, oh, well, uh, you ruined the entire kill. It's like, oh, well, I don't want to do that. I mean, just improvise is easy for me to do, and it's easy for you to do, but if you're a new player who, like, doesn't understand bossing, improvising just, that sounds like, oh, so, like, I'm just dead. I don't know why I'm in here. Oh, I need a chef's hat. Oh, I need to make the pastry dough. Okay. And what's pastry dough, pot of flour, jug of water? Okay. Nice, just got scammed. Like, what just what I try to do with my guide is like, okay, listen, you don't need gear, you don't need all augments. Here is a two mil setup that you can just do that, and then you're just chilling. Oh, if this burns, I'm gonna have a meltdown.
No way this is burned, right? No way. No way it burns, right? Okay. So in all of my guides, I use no perks besides the Barago guide because Barago is the hardest boss in, in the game to, to solo. I just think it's just general elitism. Like, we're in a world with so many resources that, like, there's kind of no excuse to not know. Which is fair. Like, I think that's th that's true. I don't remember if I interacted with this guy. Get a member of... Okay, let me see. Mind your back, RS3. But the thing is, is that not that many people care. Uh, you don't have to be on task. You just need to be either 120 or you need to be um, or being on, on task helps, but you don't you don't need it. So I think that's fair. Like you're definitely correct that that's how that works. But like, again, you just don't need that stuff. Like my soul at guide, I used no perks. Well, I don't think I use no, no perks, but in my solo so soul at guide, I use this, uh, devoted for enhanced devoted for. And then I, I guess I'm impatient for like, this is what I use. I use this cinder banes, and unaugmented tier 90s. Uh, this didn't have perks on it yet. So like, you don't need any of this unless you're doing exactly Virago. Yeah, doing P4 without that stuff is a little rough. Okay, what's the name of this? No Madness. I, I don't care. I don't care. Okay, sick. Yeah, I mean, Devoted and Enhanced Devoted are, like, really, really nuts. But those aren't even, like, ultra best in slot. 
They're definitely nice, for sure. So this is dig site, so we'll just go here. Yeah, I usually feed it when I get the notification. Which... which one is the one to Sentiston? Oh wait, no. Hold on. That's not... I don't remember where the altar of Sentiston is. I don't think it's this one. This is the throne room. Or is it in the new throne room? Oh, no, no. I think it's here. I think it's here. Or is it there? It might be there. Yeah, it's hundred percent there. Yeah, yeah, it's it, it's this one. I need to pray at the altar with soul split active. Okay, so now we'll feed you. We'll play with you again. Okay, pick poison ivy from your bush in the farming patch in Varrod. Okay. I should have a poison ivy seed in my bank. Does this grow bush patches? We'll try it. Thanks, Ace. Appreciate it. So entry perks are definitely really, really nice. I think more of the point I was saying was that like... When a new player asks, why can't I kill this? The answer is Stoke never. Try. You have BBC so you don't have main perks. hand. What the heck? Thanks, Extravagante, for the Twitch sub. Appreciate it. Or the Prime sub, rather. But yeah, like, the answer to a new player is almost never your gear slash perks isn't good enough. That that's, that's just never the case. It's always you don't know what the boss is. Which is fine. Like, that's totally reasonable to not know what the boss is. Uh, let me see how I make a mahogany lectern. Two mahogany planks and a thing, okay. And a gold leaf. Where is my plank box? Hmm. 
Yeah, I might make something for all perks. The TLDR is that they don't really matter, but... And also, it's incredibly expensive to get best in slot perks. Are there bosses that are more gear dependent? So the only boss that's gear locked, at least with necromancy, is Virago. And only if you're going to solo it. That's the only boss that's gear locked. There are zero other bosses in the entire game where you have to have really crazy gear in order to kill it. I had them a while for a meme, but I decided against it, so I'm getting rid of them. No, no, absolutely not. Uh, I need two adamant bars. Uh, I still don't have a single copy of Aftershock 4 Equilibrium 2. I don't have a single copy of it. I've spent two, like one, 1. 1.2 bill on it. Okay, so this is done. This is done. No, this is not done. This, this is done. This is probably done. I need a wild pie. Yeah, I have Biting 4 and a lot of stuff, too. I think I have it on everything. Yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, I have 8 copies of Biting 4. Oh, do I have a study in my house? I don't actually know if I have a study. Mahogany, Demon, Lectern. Okay. Um, I guess I'll just get another gold leaf in case I need to make another one. I don't remember if I have a study or not. And I probably need a rune, so I'll withdraw all my runes. Yeah, I'm, I've gotten one copy of Impatient 4 Devoted 4, and like when I got hacked a couple of years ago, they, they took it. That's what happened to my single copy of it. I've spent so much money, I've never gotten it again. Yeah, I gotta have all, all my pets out. You know how it goes. Oh, I need a soft clay, I see. I see. I don't like the Vorky pet. I think the Vorky pet's lame. But listen, I'm glad that you all like it. I hope you get it soon. I think Bizdy is the superior dragon pet. I 
I mean, that's pretty good. So is a demon lectern not an e like? I guess a demon lectern is worse than an eagle lectern. Oh no, it just needs to be an Eagle Lectern specifically. Oh, okay. Yeah, it just literally needs to be specifically an Eagle Lectern. Oh, and then Demon Lecterns are for this. I understand. I understand. That's fair. I think that's fine. So now we need to go over here. Typically, I would say that um, you should just make your Vorkath gear if you're going to farm Vorkath, but if you're just gonna sell your Vorkath gear for, or your Vorkath drops for, for the gear, that's basically the same thing. Because the issue isn't actually getting all of the scales. If you're doing hard mode Vorkath, like you're gonna get all of the uh, the Vorkath spikes, but getting the ancient scales by yourself, that's a lot. A thousand ancient scales, that takes so long. Yeah, I, I would only make the uh, chest plate. I, I wouldn't make anything else. Yeah, I mean, if you have all of your own Seryu scales, that's really, really good. Is this the Apprentice? Oh, it is. Oh, okay. Okay, I need to make a Skull Scepter, so let's go and do that. Also, where's the Bush Patch? I don't know where the Bush Patch is. Okay, sick. Uh, I don't think Dracolith is, is is the issue. I think both the last guardian just lets you print infinite adrenaline because of the multi hits. The fact that the additional hits can also crit is just it's so easy to just I have infinity adrenaline for thirty seconds. And like that was magic's thing, so it's fine that magic gets to do it, but like it's a weird that. You know, a bunch of styles are allowed to do it. So is it just Minotaurs that drop the skull half or is it everything? Yeah, okay. Well, I know that Minotaurs drop it, so I'm just going to go and kill Minotaurs.
What do you mean by turn on the the achievement window? Because I'm just pressing F F1, and that's opening this. Okay, got that. Oh, that's that's up. We want to go down. Oh, like you don't. I don't know. I would assume it's in your your settings, or like in your uh, edit mode. Okay, so I think it's the um, the scorpions that drop the thing here, right? Or the flesh crawlers, whatever they're called. Yeah, these things, yeah. Dude, I remember training on these when I was like a kid. These things would obliterate you. They were so strong. Oh yeah, I remember you'd be here like just training on, on Anku. And that was the tech. Oh, that was fast. And then it's the green boys on, on the next floor, right? Bro, do you remember how an Anku, like, when we would go and kill Anku, you'd have to, like, just sit there and wait for them to drop aggro before you were allowed to kill them? Yeah, they would obliterate you. They would hit, like, like, tens. And back then, like, we were all noobs, so getting hit by a 10, like, GG. Like, you're actually dead. Yeah, it's these green ones that drop this, this piece, right? I think it's the green ones. Oh, yeah. I guess we just wait for them to respawn. Oh, yeah. Ice Warriors would actually delete you. We just wait here for a collection log, and then we go down. And then I think it's Anku that dropped the last piece, right? Or am I thinking of something else? Okay, word.
<laughs> yeah, you think I'm scared of Anku now? So like, I've AFK'd Moss Golem, so I'm not scared of Anku anymore. Kitten hasn't been out this whole time. I'm so sad. Oh, yeah, I remember those guys. Uh, temple tracking is like for the lower level guys. Um, oh, we need to get a skull scepter for a uh, requirement. Yeah, but basically for temple tr tracking for the easy and medium, you just want to go find combat rooms, uh, e either medium or easy combat rooms, and then let your familiars do all of the killing. And then in hard, you want to always pick the hard rooms because your familiars have no weapons. Uh, you need to teleport here with the skull. You need to teleport to Barbarian Village with the skull scepter. That that's the uh, task. Oh yeah, and this was the most evil room of all time. This room right right here. This is where we all got cleaned five or six times because we messed up the safe spot. Yeah, you, you, you can. You probably have to do it again. Unfortunately, it's just kind of the deal. Damn, I wish I kept my Skull Scepter for when I was uh, training Necro here. Oh, these don't respawn fast at all. That sucks. Uh, is there a better room th than this? There's gotta be a better room than this. I feel like this room is pretty good. Oh, I guess there's ghosts in here, but this, this room is huge. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say, I feel like this room is really good. Honestly, I think the issue is that these have actual respawn times. Oh, this room seems seems good. Yeah, we'll just go to this this room, I think. Um, comp is whenever this kitten is an adult. Maybe sooner, but whenever this kitten is an adult. So like very soon. Because I need to get this cat in particular to hunt a hundred rat. Yeah, I also did 40 to 60 here.
Oh, nice. Okay, we got it. Also, who, who do we take this to now? Do I just use it on itself? No. Um, where do we take this? Skull Scepter RS3. Oh, okay. I need to do this. And then do this. And then do this. And then do this. And there it is. Okay. Uh trade furs. The fancy dress seller. Okay. Light in up RS3. Okay, I need two dashing cabot furs. Also, let me get my apron now. I'll deposit this here with my other teleports. Now we need to go to, um, oh, let me get my Moonstone. Golden double agent after trim? True. Okay, so now we need to find the dead Master Crafter. I don't actually know where he is. Uh, cause I don't use any of my stone spirits. So because they don't automatically go to the place, um, me not using any of my stone spirits, like means that it's easier for me to get them for when I go to sell them. Um, if they don't go into my box. Okay, we did that. Let's put my plate body back on. Is AFK mining on my phone true? Browse through Ozark's armor shop. Well, where is Ozark? Oh, I I know where he is. That that's an edge Okay, Varrock. Okay, Varrock bush patch. Oh, this is south of Varrock. Okay, 
We'll go to Edgeville and talk to Ozark and look at a shop. That's crazy. That's my first time going through a shop. What's going on? How we doing? I don't think this is the right thing for this, but maybe. Yeah, it's not. Um. Okay, let me go to Artie and then I'll come back. Yes. Yeah, I should be able to get that with beans from these. Okay, good luck. And there it is. Okay, so what do we have left? Says I have seven area tasks left, but there's four. So I'm confused. Trade first. Fancy dress seller. Where is fancy dress seller? Fancy dress seller RS3. Oh, fancy clothes store. Okay. Where is Romilly Weeklax? Cook's Guild. Okay. So we just go to borrow. Is this the fancy dress shop? Yeah, I mean, it, it, it'll be nice. Okay, I don't know where the fancy dress shop is. Oh, this is on the other side of town. I see. I think, right? It's over here? No, hold on. Let me zoom out. Yeah, it's, it's, it's back down here. I think. That's done. So now I believe the fastest way to get to where I want to go is Ring of Wealth.
Oh, I think I... I don't have my cooks out. I sold it. Cringe. Alright, I'll buy it again. Oh, I need to wear it, true. That's fair. Okay. Hot air balloon. Okay, where's the hot air balloon in Varog? Do I need to take it some do I need to take it here first? All right, let me see where the hot air balloons are. Okay, so this says we need to go to Entrada, so let's just do that. Okay, then we'll do this. Should be a bank deposit box around here. Yeah, I didn't want to bank all of my food. Okay, how do I get more more charges? Does tier of log give you more charges? It does. Okay. Oh, and I can bring noted logs. Okay, that's fine. Uh, magic logs will bring. Oh, U logs are cheaper. So here we'll bring 995 of these. So this is max charges. Probably will never have to re recharge this again, which is fine. I'm down. Let's let's MTX really quick. Okay, and there it is.
Uh, are the capes tradable? Because if the capes aren't tradable, that's so much. Oh, we have to mini game. Okay, hold on. Okay, so scene one, we logs, tug, op duty. Okay. Um Yeah, it's fine. Can you fly into birds or do you have to fly over birds? You have to fly over birds. Oh my god. This is so cringe. Okay. Hot air balloon. Unlock Barog. R3. Oh, wait, I just didn't understand what this is saying. Okay, hold on. Okay, I think I got it this time. No, I, I got it this time. I have brain damage. I got it this, this time, though. Guaranteed. Okay. One, two, three, four. One, two. One, two. One. One, two. One. One. One, two. One, one, two, one, two. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, one. Oh, I just trolled. This is bad. Um, so I'm one lower than I should be. I don't need any more logs. So I can do this. Okay, one sandbags, one relax, two tugs, one sandbags, 
one Rolex, two tugs, one sandbags, one Rolex, emergency tug, Rolex, emergency tug, Rolex, tug. Okay, there we go. Yes, it's that was a lot. Okay, and then do I have to like do the whole thing back to Entrada? Or will it just take me here? Okay, it'll just take 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 me here. Nice. Okay, take it easy, Rosolo. Okay, so all we have left is the kitten hunt hunting, so that's what we're doing, I guess. We just uh do this for the rest of my life. We got four rats, I think. So we need 96 more. Uh, only when you're doing the hard uh, familiars or the hard followers. Okay, five. We're already making progress. I think that's all the progress that we're going to make, but... Okay, six. I wish there was a way to check how many hunts your cat has done. I wonder if I can just ask my cat if I have a cat speak amulet. Man, this 15%, this, this is a lot. All good. Yeah, we'll need to have it out for about an hour to get the next growth stage. And like, this is all I have left to do, so we're just, we're doing it. Yep, so we are hunting rats for the next hour. And probably for the next hour and a half, honestly. Yeah, this kitten is way worse than, than the other one.
This is so many failures in a row for 15%. This is like 20 failures in a, in, in a row on a one in seven. I mean, it's my fault. I didn't know that dismissing a cat made it run away. I thought I just picked it up. Like, I don't know why I would ever want to, like, I, I, I just don't know why that's what it does. Okay, seven. Cause like if you dismiss now a legendary familiar or your like lore hound, it just goes back home. So like the equivalent option for a cat, I I would assume is put it in your inventory, not run away. Like the intuitive option is it's go back into your in inventory. Okay, nine. That's not bad. Let me see if there's a way to check. Can I check how many rats my cat has hunted RS3? Oh, so it alerts me when my cat's caught 50. Okay, so I guess there's no sense of keeping track. And so, yeah, I'll get a notification when it's caught 100, when it's caught 50. But yeah, I think that's the most annoying part about this, is that, like, I, I just, I don't understand why, like, Oh, dismiss? That picks it up. Like, of, of course that's what it should do, but that's not what it does. And it's like, I, I don't know, like, who designed it that, that way, because it's like, bro... In what world is someone, they have a cat and they want to like, oh, I want to set my cat free without a dialogue option. Like, why is that what Dismiss Now does, do you know? Yeah, it's just like weird design oversights. 
where it's like, man, I feel like releasing your kitten is a pretty firm decision. Yeah, and it's just like, okay, like, that seems like something that you would want to, like, always have a confirmation box for. Because there's basically no reason to release a cat ever, other than like, oh, you don't like the, the cat color and you want to pick a different cat color. That's the only reason you, you would ever want, want to do that. I guess you can also save one bank space, but like, again, you can just put your cat in your in your menagerie. So like, there's just no reason to ever quick release it. So why is that an option? Yeah, exactly. There is zero reason to quick release a, a cat. Also, I'm going to be honest, this doesn't feel like 15%. This feels like 5%. I think that was 10 or maybe 20. Because I got like a different text box. Okay, two in a row. Yeah, regular cats have a 50%. And then if you let it go into an overgrown cat, um, which I don't know if there's a fast way to do that or if you just have to wait, then you can turn into a wily cat and wily cats have not have 93%. Yeah, I can go to West Artie, but like, I don't, I don't think it's gonna matter that much. But maybe it will. I mean, it's already a hell kitten, so I don't think it matters. We, we, we can try it, I guess. Yeah, you did it! Woohoo! Oh god, I'm zoomed all the way in. And so let's just put on my Cramulant in case I can talk to the cat and that matter. And then where's David's spell book? Okay, where is the house here? Okay, it's not those. It's not that one. Not that one or that one. It's not that one. It's definitely not in there. It's 
not any of those. Is it this one? Oh, it's, it's this one, it's this one. All right, this is our our new home. I think because Arbuck is just really hard to get. Like, it's decently difficult to get a good amount of Arbuck. Yeah, I mean, luckily, it's, like, super profitable if you just, like, plant one Arbok and let it grow. Oh, nice. The cat can't get to its prey. Nice. I don't even know where I need to stand so that that doesn't happen. Maybe if I stand here. Yeah, I mean, Glacor, that was not it. Glacor ruined so many bosses' drop tables. Um, I disagree. I think the issue with certain things is that they're like disproportionately uh, expensive compared to their rarity so like if our bucks are 10 times more expensive they're like a hundred a 100 thought they the price i think the thing the reason why our bucks are so expensive is that one they're pretty rare and two they're like incredibly important for end game resources Like, let, let me see. Arbuck, RS3. It's used in one. Well, I guess the big thing is that it's used in adrenaline renewals. Is that it? I thought I was using Vaughn Bombs. Do Vaughn Bombs not use? Yes, yeah, aggro overloads and adrenaline renewals. That's like not that many things. I thought I was using a lot more stuff. Yeah, but Arbuck isn't used in any of like the sub. Materials. 
So that's why it's just like, oh, it's literally just adrenaline renewals. And that's it, basically. And aggro overloads. But, like... Uh, it doesn't look like Excel Pots use Arbok. I think they use Felsock. Oh, no, this just doesn't use it at all, period. Yeah. Bro, I'm telling you, this isn't 15%. This is like 5 or Also, why doesn't the cat hunting the rats, why do, doesn't that clear its hunger? Like, it's not eating them, it's just killing them and leaving the bodies on the floor, like... Yeah, I, I don't know. We've never had rats where I've lived, so like... Yeah, no, like I've, like I've never had my cats uh, hunt rats. Also, if you have your summoning familiars off, you can't do anything with your cat. You can't pick it up. You can't have it hunt. You can't play with it. You can't do anything. So I don't understand why, like, in this interface, there isn't buttons for, for that. Like, there's just a lot of stuff that's like, I understand that, you know, not many new players are going to have cats. But, like, this is really poorly designed. Because if you're bossing, you basically want your hide familiars ticked pretty much 100% of the time. Uh, hide familiar options. It makes it so you can't click on your familiar. It just gets rid of its click box. It's still visually there, but you can't click on it. Yeah, so if you have that clicked, you can't do anything with your cat. You can't have it hunt. You can't play with it. You can feed it. Oh, I'm body blocking my cat because it can't walk through me. Nice. Okay, this is starting to feel a little bit more like 15%.
Very nice. Yeah, I should have done the task system a while ago. I just never got around to it. Also, while I'm here, yeah, it says I'm missing two. I don't, I don't understand. Yeah, I don't know what the two achievements I'm, I'm missing are. Maybe it's these? Yeah, maybe it's, it's, it's these two. Yeah, it's just probably those two. That's the only thing that would make sense. I also don't know if it's one kitten that or one cat that needs to do all of the hunting or if it tracks all of the hunts that you've done. Because my other cat did like 21 hunts or something what's going on alex how how we doing uh we are currently working on the last requirement for comp once i once this cat hunts 100 rats we are a completionist No, I thought it was going to be the, uh, what's it called? I thought it was going to be the harmonic dust. Because if it was the harmonic dust, we could have killed bosses for like an hour and a half. And then just looked for traveling merchant and then just done that. But that would be fun, so. What's going on, Pride? Uh, you get to watch me hunt at least 50 and up to 70 more rats with a 15% catch rate. Isn't that exciting? Okay, we got another one. All right, if it's the back-to-back, -back, we're gonna be done before it's an adult. Okay, no, no, no back-to-back, -back. GG. We, we lose. Bro, this kitten sucks. My other kitten was God tier. When we were doing rat catchers, that guy had a 9 in 10 drop rate on 15%. Like, or a, what, an 8 out of 9 on 15%. That's so good. This cat sucks.
intro. Dude, this is so whack. <laughs> Wow, the rat man just to get away. And of course, there's no way we can, like, speed up the aging of our cat. That, that would make sense. Like, why can't we have Carapac do some time magic? True. That's 25. Oh my god. Uh, let me see. Cat RS3. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't I don't I don't think so. I mean, maybe you can check, but I don't, I don't think so. The wiki isn't saying anything about that, but maybe it's just not on the wiki. Yeah, which unfortunately a kitten is is not. Yeah, it's only for legendary pets. <clears throat> I mean, we're probably going to get to like 50. Honestly, we're not even going to get to 50. We're probably going to get to like 40 and then it'll be a big cat. And then once it's a big cat, the... Catch rate goes up to 50%. At that point, then it's going to be like, okay, like this is going to take like 15 minutes, then we're out. We did get a little back to back, though, so that's always nice. Nice. My kitten can't walk through me.
Bro, I don't care. Just go hunting. It's putting me to sleep. And I feel like it's making my, what's it called? I feel like it's making my growth slow down. Okay, so let me think. So, if I understand this timetable correctly, we're gonna... It's not gonna be an adult for, like, 45 minutes. I don't think we can catch. Because we can do six rats a minute, probably. So, 360 attempts in an hour. So, 270 attempts, so we'll catch like 25, we'll catch 41, or if we just wait the 45 minutes, and then come back, we need to do 100 hunts. Okay, we're gonna do my Reaper task. <laughs> And then we'll come back a little bit later. My current Reaper task is QBD, so we'll start with that. I think it, it's actually just faster for me to do something else. Or wait until it's an adult. No, we're stopping because this is, it's going to be faster for me to just wait until my cat is an adult than it is for me to do all of the training, or for me to hunt all of the rats. Like, it's actually faster for me to just do nothing. So we're doing my Reaper task. Yeah, I mean, that's why I brought the fish. New PB, wow. Uh, I don't know if I have this piece already. I do, I'm pissed.
Okay, any back-to-backs in the chat? Surely we got another drop room, surely. I mean, that's a lot of ectoplasm. I mean, that basically counts, right? That's better than anything else that she's dropping. I think she has access to rare drop table. That's the only understand. That's the only way I think. Because that would be a weird thing to add to Queen of Black Dragon's drop table. Yeah, it checks out. Imagine we get a Hazelmere's from QBD, that'd be so sick. I think I need to do one ability first before I Skulls. Because I keep losing the rest of the skulls. Wow, Torstal Seed, wow! I love Torstal Seeds. Yeah, that definitely works better. Oops, misclick. Oh, I misclicked to the shard, I see. I understand. I misclicked the shard.
it is. Okay, after this, we have two more. Then we can grab another Reaper task. And then after that, we'll grab another Reaper task. Because we have uh, the post reset one. survey says wow one in our adrenaline crystal that is worth it for sure that that's a real drop like at least it'd be a full adrenaline crystal So after this, I need to feed my kitten that will grab a new Reaper task. If I can pick, I'll just pick something that I can have my kitten out at. Sure, bank all. That's fine. <clears throat> Okay, what do we got? No, not that. I get the pick. Wow. Um, we could AFK KBD. We could do. Yeah, actually, I'm down for that because we can just AFK uh, KBD working on the last drop. Yeah, we'll just do this. So we'll do this. I'll bring three tuna with me. And then we'll just go to KBD and then we'll just set at KBD. Uh, KBD is free. You just AFK for a full hour. So here's your KBD guide. You put on uh, Protect Magic. Okay, there. You've mastered KBD. And then you put on Auto Retaliate. And now you're the KBD mastermind. No, yeah, because I think the issue with actually hunting the rats too is that it was slowing down the kill or the, the the growth time. Like every time I interacted with the cat, it's just not allowed to grow.
So the only issue with the zero second kill is that means pressing buttons. This is zero buttons and it's like 90 kills an hour. So like in terms of effort, this is literally like infinity effort for uh, what's it called? It's like infinity rewards for zero effort. Um, I don't know if it's faster, but the issue is, is that with range, you'll eventually bleed out like HP. And like, it turns out, um, not pressing a single button and having infinite health is better than not pressing a single button and not having infinite health. Turns out there's a pretty big difference. Yeah, yeah, it's just, listen, it's, it's, it's how it works. It's the same thing with like the new AFK ratio method. It's like zero inputs. Once you get in there, there's not a great reason not to do that. If you would be AFK anyways, it is like crazy requirement heavy, but once you have all the requirements, there's really not a great reason not to do it. If you were just going to be chilling regardless, you know? Uh, unfortunately, I got scammed on my KBD log. Uh, we did get two ornamental kits in like within 10 kills of, of each other. So that's really good. Unfortunately, they're the same ornamental kit. So that sucks. Uh, in terms of visages, I don't think I got any visages from KBD. I think these are all from other bosses. Yeah, I don't think I've gotten a single visage from, from KBD. Okay, I'm, I'm going to use the bathroom. I'll be right back.
<clears throat> okay, we're back. I will grab a new Reaper task after this, but... Dude, Vorkath Reapers are sick if you can kill them. If you can't kill them, then Vorkath's whack. But if you can, that boss is nuts. The GP per hour is just so insane. Especially with how crazy some of the super high-end methods are. They're, they're like 22 kills an hour. Yeah, if you haven't done hard mode, then it's a lot less good. But if you can do hard mode, the GP per hour is just like... It's... The second best GP in the game. I think the only thing better than it is like uh, 2k Zamrock. Uh, after this kill, I also need to pet my kitten so it doesn't like run away. Where is my kitten? It is a lot of damage, you're not wrong. Okay, so let's get a new Reaper task. Well, let's re-log. Actually, did I do my challenges? No. Okay, we will do this then. Okay, now we will re-log and we'll get a new Reaper task. Yeah, melee stuff is decently cheap. That checks out. No, I have that log. I get to pick. All right, we're going back to KVD. Yeah, the codices are like ultra cheap. Which, as it turns out, is awesome. Oh, let me put on Protect Magic. Yeah, I forgot the most important part, which was putting on Protect Magic. Wow, 3,400 KBD. Wow. Uh, it's not that it's not that much, all things considered. A lot of people have like 6K plus. Because KBD do doesn't drop anything, but everything it does drop is like a 1 in 2,000, so. Yeah, so both of these, uh, where is it? This is one in 2000, this is one in 2000. Uh, I believe both of these are one in 2000 as well. So literally all of its drops are one in 2000. Yeah, it's like 35 hours, I think. Like it's definitely not nothing.
Uh, unfortunately, we're waiting for this cat to become an adult. Once it's an adult, then we can see the cave. Well, basically, once it's an adult, we can see the cave. So, you need to wait, like, 15, 20 minutes until it's an adult. Yeah, it's really awesome. And then, after that, we can uh, hunt, like, 70 rats. And that should take, like, 20 minutes, so... Yeah, unfortunately, we didn't just have a cat to begin with. Uh, fun fact, if you click dismiss now, it auto makes your cat run away. It doesn't pick it up. Uh, World 31. So I did that with my other cat because I thought it would just pick it up without a confirmation. It doesn't. Because I had my familiar options off. So if you have your familiar options off, you can't pick up your cat. Like, there's no way to pick it up. So, my familiar options were off, so I'm like, oh, I'll just dismiss now, that'll pick it up. No, it made it run away. Uh, it, it is a Hellcat. I don't think the Hellcat part of it matters. I think it's just cosmetic. I thought a Hellcat had, like, higher catch rate, but it does not. It just doesn't matter at all. Well, we should be finishing up within an hour, I imagine, we'll be ready for uh, comp, so. I mean, you guys will know, but once we hit the 75 mark, because I should get a notification at 75. Once we hit the 75 mark, then we'll, like, send messages out for people to show up if they want to. World 31.
So you just you need to have her kill stuff. So like what I do on the easy and medium track is you take them down the middle path every single time. And then for all the combat, you can like either let her kill stuff if she'll survive tanking them. Or if she won't survive tanking them, you just tag everything once and then you chill. Like you literally just use like smoke rush on every single enemy once. And then you just AFK and wait. Yeah, because th they level up really fast when they're the ones killing stuff. Sorry, just responding to a comment. Yeah, the easy and mediums are super simple. Uh, it, it's the hards that take forever because you need to go down the hard path on, on your own and just kill everything on, on your own there. But the hard paths give a bit more XP, so... I know a lot of people just teleport out on the bog. I never did that, but that, that is an option. From kind of the KBD master. Oops, I mean my, my, my mic. I'm kind of the KBD master, if I'm being honest. Yeah, KBD, he's like, he's just, please leave. I can't take this anymore. So I'll feed my kitten now, and I shouldn't have to feed him again, and I'll play with him now. Has anyone seen the uh, new season or has start started watching the new season of That Time I Got Reincarnated as a Slime? I haven't started it yet. I'm curious to see how, how how it is so so far. I'm sure it's fine, but I'm just curious if anyone's seen it yet. Dude, the end of the last season. Oh my god. It was too much for me. It was so good. Like, emotionally, it was too much. I couldn't handle it. Because I don't read the manga, so I don't know anything that, that was going on. And I avoided all of the spoilers. Bro, the end of the last season? Mm, thank goodness. That's all I have to say. The new season's supposed to be nuts. It's the Hashira training, right? Yeah, 
Yeah, that one's supposed to be really good. I was decently excited for My Hero, but I think that show is just too long. Like, my issue with My Hero is that, like, you know from the beginning that Deku's gonna win every single time. So, it's just really hard when, like, there's like 200 episodes of it because it's like, bro, like, get to the point. Like, I don't care anymore. And I know that all the side characters are, are worthless, so I just, I'm not interested. Like, can we finish up already? Yeah, like, there's some shows where it's not that clear. Like, one thing I like about Slime is that, okay, we're pretty sure we know that Remaru is one of the strongest, period. We don't know how strong he is, though. Like, we know that there's at least competition. And then we also don't know, like, what the end goal is. So it makes it a lot easier to just sit there and watch because you truly have no idea what, what's going to happen. But then the flip side of it is like, okay, we look at my hero. We know that Deku's going to win every single time. Like, period. That's going to happen. We, we know he's going to win. We know he's going to be the strongest. So everything that happens, like, we know that Shigaraki is the bad guy. We know that Deku's going to beat Shigaraki. So everything between now and then is like, okay, like, can we get to the point? And it's a little bit the same with Demon Slayer, but like not as much just because everything that's happening between is like really interesting. But like even Demon Slayer is like the storytelling is kind of whatever. Because it's like, okay, we know that like the formula for Demon Slayer is just tournament arc with uh, emotions, right? Because it's like, okay, we're just waiting for them to keep killing the generals over and over and over and over again. Eventually, they're going to beat the number one guy. And then it's like, okay, well, you beat the number one guy. There's only one more guy to beat now. But I don't know. I feel like My Hero just dragged a little bit too long. But not only did it drag, like, it feels like nothing that's happening matters. You know? Like, the whole last arc with, like, Deku going on his own, it's like, if that didn't happen, nothing changes. And that sucks. I will say, though, in Demon Slayer, they just need to kill off what's named Zenitsu. If Zenitsu dies, masterpiece show. Well, obviously that's being high hyperbolic, but if he dies, it's really good. <laughs> Like, he gets more and more tolerable as the series goes on. But, like, in season one, the show went from, like, a nine to, like, a four when Zenitsu was on screen. It was really bad. I mean... Yeah, he, he's cool when he's in that mode, but like when he's in that mode, he's not speaking. So <laughs> it's like, hmm, I think that explains kind of the issue. Also, he has one move like, bro, we're in another move. Like, I don't believe that one move is so good that he doesn't need to learn any other stances. 
Like, that just can't be correct. Like, why even have all other stances if Thunderclap and Flash beats literally everything? Like, it just makes the whole lightning style, like, not make any sense. It's like, okay, so lightning breathing is a thing that, 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 that exists, but, like... Why? If you're, if the only, if, if Thunderclap and Flash beats literally everything, why is lightning br breathing even a thing? Like, why not just, like, why not just have, like, other moves and then, like, this is the ultimate move? I really want to see the next, uh, or the next season of Jujutsu Kaisen, or whenever they deal with Maki's, like, her glow up. That's gonna be so sick. I can't wait. It's gonna be so sick. Maki is so cool. Damn, look at this guy getting appraisal wand. What's going on, Jamat? Thanks for the raid. Appreciate it. What'd you guys get up to? What up, what up? So right now we're doing KBD because I just need something AFK to do while we wait for our Hell Kitten to be a Hellcat. Once it grows up in 5%, we need to hunt like 70 rats and then we are comped. So if you guys want to hang out for a little bit, uh, I'm on World 31. So that's where we're going to comp. Oh, did you get anything good from your clues? It's going to be about 20 minutes once my kitten is an adult. Let me make an announcement on my Discord. Yeah, yeah. I'll obviously uh, you guys will obviously know because you'll you'll be watching. But um yeah, it'll just be by the cape. I might do like an official thing sometime next week to like fully celebrate or sometime during the week to fully celebrate. This is a lot of you logs. 
This must have been a rare drop table. That was a lot of U logs. <laughs> Oh no, um, I'll be like finished comped in like a half hour. So if you want to stay for that, we're just AFKing KBD while we wait for our kitten to be a cat. And then in about a half hour, we'll be ready. Where will you be comping? Uh, I think I have to go to the Varak Museum. I think it's the second floor of the Varak Museum, or maybe it's the third floor. I don't even know if there is a third floor, I'm going to be honest. True. Okay, once it's at 99, we'll like leave. Because by the time we actually get there, it'll probably be there. Okay, no problem. We probably have one or two more kills. Yeah, this was way longer than two and a half hours. Actually, was it? When did we start? Did we start at 6.30? That we like decided we were gonna, gonna just wait the two and a half hours? Maybe my sense of time is just really bad. Yeah, I think it feels closer to three, but I think my sense of time just sucks. Yeah, maybe, maybe it was just two and a half then. Because I know it wasn't out for like 20 minutes. So yeah, maybe the two and a half was accurate. Okay. Okay, so we bank all of this. We grab Dave's spell book. Wait, let me check. Does Quest Cape take us to Bark Museum? I'm just curious. Oh, it does. That's really funny. Okay. So we'll get Dave's Spellbook. If you do hards, by the way, Dave's Spellbook, God tier. Uh, I don't do elites because elites are for cringe boys, but really, really good for hards. No, it left. Nope, you're getting blasted. Sorry. Okay. We need to get 70 rats now. Did you get anything from your elites? Wow. 
Very nice. Yeah, I got a shadow die on my 27th hard. What do you mean by that? Oh, that's sick. Nice. So, what follower you have? Thanks, no, 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 number one. By the by the way, what follower you have depends on where you're you're leaving from. That that's the only thing that, that matters. Yeah, the one that I got, um, I got, uh, my Barrow's Eye was from Masters. I did, like, a hundred and something Masters. My master's RNG is like fine, I think. Honestly, after comp, I might be a clue scroller for a little bit because I have 3,500 hearts. I mean, 3,500? Uh, I turn all of my elites into hard clues. I think elites are the worst clues in the entire game. Elites are the only clues that have a, a learning curve on them. Yeah, hard clues. I, I like masters. Obviously, masters are the best, but... Yeah, I do not like elites at all. I think they're by far the worst clues. So the issue with elites is that you need to learn how to triangulate, which like, that's a lot. <laughs> because how many elites do you need to do in order to get good enough at triangulating that they're actually worth it? Like, you probably need to do three or four hundred up to a thousand elites before you're, like, fast enough at elites that you're, like, oh, I'm, like, ready. Like, I, I can do elites and it's worth doing them. Whereas hards, you do, like, 50 hards and then you, you get it. Like, okay, I've mastered hearts. Plus, hearts are, like, disgustingly fast once you have the outfit. The outfit just makes it free. Yeah, I think that's my issue with, with um, uh, elites. Like, the fact that you have to get good at, at elites 
and that's the only clue scroll you have to get good at, that's not it for me. I'm I'm just good on that. Okay, this is okay. So I guess if your cat doesn't have a line of sight, it like won't hunt. I I disagree. Yeah, because like to get good enough to do 15 elites an hour, which is when they become like super worth it, you probably need to do like hundreds. Like, I think you can be fine at, at elites, but like if you have the outfit for hearts, you can just slam 20 hearts an hour. Yeah, and I think, like, that's what makes hard so much more preferable, in my opinion. Because my guess is that in the time it... Like, let's say your goal is to get 100 Masters, and you haven't done Elites, and you haven't done Hards. My guess is that starting from zero of both, you can get more Masters from Hard Clues. Like in terms of time spent than you can from elite clues. Dude, this is so current, okay. I think if I stand here, he'll never get body blocked. Oh no, he just always gets body blocked. Okay. So maybe if I stand here, he won't get body blocked. Um, I guess that's fair. Yeah, no, that, that that's fair. But like, I think even then, like, let's say, like, let's say you have like an arbitrary number of hearts and an arbitrary number of, of elites, but you don't know how how to do clues. I think you could gather a hundred masters from hearts faster than a hundred hard a hundred masters for, from elites if we calculate, like, the learning curve on elites. Bro, what is my cat doing? What? He was just upside down. Yeah, my cat just had a stroke. I don't know what he just did. I wonder if I get notified at 75 or if I only get notified at 100. Bro, I'm telling you, hard or god tier. Elites are for cringe boys. Exactly. True. Okay, that's 75. We have 25 more.
I'm so glad I waited instead of just hunting them. Like, we're gonna be here for five more minutes because I didn't wait, like, or because I, I waited. Whereas I could have stayed here the whole, whole time and we would be like five or six rats ahead of where we, we were. Well, yeah, I mean, that's fair, but like the flip side of it is, you know, I've done, I got a shadow die in 27 hards. Like, that doesn't mean that hards are better, but it, it does mean that like, I did those 27 hards in an hour and a half. Whereas how long would it have taken me to do 75 elites? It probably would have taken me like eight hours to do 75 elites. Maybe even 10 hours, honestly. Eight hours? Actually, no. It would have taken me way, way longer than that. It would have taken me like 15 to 20 hours to do 75 elites. And it's like, dang, in 20 hours, how many hards could I have done? Like, I can probably do 350 hards in 20 hours. If I'm like ultra grinding and not talking to chat. <laughs> Which isn't to say like, oh, am I going to get two broadcasts in 350 hearts? Probably not, but man. You're probably going to get more money from 350 hards than you would from 75 elites. Now, the, the ceiling on elites is obviously higher, right? Like, there's just no denying that. But I'm pretty sure... Can't you do masters faster than you can do elites? I feel like masters are literally faster than elites. Yeah, exactly. So like, if your goal is to get the most masters possible, I feel I think you just always do 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 hearts. There's just no reason to to do elites. Unless you actually did enough leads that you're good enough at triangulating. If you do enough leads that you're good enough, then obviously do them. But I I legitimately feel like that's not worth learning if your goal is just sheer GP per hour. That's, that's fair. I think that's fair. Yeah, and I bet with Globetrotter, it's like 20 to 25. Because not having to take the stuff out, not having to unequip items in certain places. It honestly might be worth downgrading them to hards. Like what I plan on doing once I do my, my hard stack is I'm going to just farm until I have 25 or 50 hards because you can increase the cap to, to 50. I'm going to farm until I have 50 hards, turn all the elites I get into hards, and then just do that. They're just really fast. And like, maybe you don't get anything, but like, you're guaranteed like, what, 50 mil unfortunates? So, why not, right? Like, 50 mil unfortunates over four hours, and then each clue you're rolling for dies?
Whereas like that many elites in four hours, if you don't know how, how to do elites, you're probably doing 20 elites in four hours. If you don't hit, what's that? Like 15 mil? It's like, bro, elites are just lame. Like, sorry, don't care. Yeah, you could, but you're probably not going to. That's why a boss like Karapak is so good or like Zuck is so good because even when you're like missing on uniques, you're still making money in trash loot. Whereas a boss like Raksha, if you're eating any food or if you're using a Blood Reaver or if you're using um, Ripper Scrolls, you're probably breaking even or losing money on Raksha kills. Like every kill you're not getting a unique, you're probably breaking even or losing money. While at Karapak, you're making 30 mil an hour in trash loot. Like guaranteed, no matter what. Yeah, using a Blood Reaver at Rassiel, you're losing money if you don't get you uniques. Pot you're maybe breaking even if you're high rolling on salvage drops. And there it is. Oh my goodness. And there it is. We're done. We're free. Undeserved, you're pissed. And there it is. And there it is. Hold on, we, we, we gotta get the cape, we gotta get the cape. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We, we gotta act, actually get it. Okay, where, where is the cape? Oh, it's all the way upstairs. Bro, why is it all the way upstairs? Yeah, why is there a third floor? Hello? Bro, look at Hope I Miss with his completionist cape. Is this trimmed? It's not trimmed, what a noob! <laughs> Bro, imagine not having a trimmed completionist cape. Couldn't be me. Damn. Wait, what about this is this John guy? Master completionist cape. <laughs> Couldn't be me. Couldn't be me. Dude, I'm so glad it's over. There are so many achievements that I thought would be like five minutes and it ended up taking like an hour and a half. Oh my God, I'm so glad it's done. All right, we'll wait two minutes and now we start. Time for clues? No, it's time for go to bed. And then after this, We'll probably do do uh, clues. Like every Tuesday, we'll just do uh, clues. What's going on, Mr. Kiwi? You made it just in time. I am getting my completionist cape in like 30 seconds. Dude, the quest point cape is like not that bad. 
Oh wait, my clan said to give us 10 minutes. On, but everyone is here now, frowny face. You want me to make everyone wait 10 minutes? Hold on, I need Peter to asphyxiate Yako. Yakamaru so they get, get, get wiped. Seven minutes. Seven minutes is all I can spare to play with you. Thanks, Kiwi, for the follow. Appreciate it. The quest cape wasn't that bad. The worst part of quest cape was... It wasn't even Swissgate's endgame. What was the worst part of quest cape? Probably Morning's End 2. I think that's the worst quest in, in, in the game. Morning's End 2? Yeah, I think that's the worst quest in the entire game. No, Swiss Guy's end game for me was an hour and 20 minutes. I'm on world 31. So the issue is I did Morning Zen 2 with the minimum agility requirement. Thanks, Gabriel, for the sub. Appreciate it. Morning Zen 2 with minimum agility might be the worst content in the entire game. Besides raids with nine randoms. Like, I can't think of doing anything. I can't think of anything worse than Morning Zen 2 with, uh, with, with minimum agility. Wait, who is this? Wait, what? Oh, I thought this was third. I thought this was third age. I mean, the Aurora die looks re really good. I thought this was third age. I was like, bro, no way this guy is full third age. Dude, I have five Aurora dies in, in my bank waiting for uh, Dracolith to be diable. Eight hundred fifty mil. That's pretty good. Wait, who is this? Wait, Mr. John with the blue party hat? Okay. Wait, this guy is a purple. Wait, I'm poor. What? Wait. I didn't know I was poor. What the heck? Does, does Hope have a party hat? No, Hope is poor. <laughs> Hope is poor. Get shit on. How can I change my cards? You need a master completion escape. So you need a 120 all. Damn, that's crazy. Hope you better put on a party hat or something. Everyone's going to know that you're poor. Where do we go to get confettis? Okay, wait. Viral might be the richest guy here. Hold on. How how can I pretend to be poor? Hold on. What if I do this? Wait, that like barely helps. Yeah, this just doesn't even help at all. I was going to do this and then like look poor, but 
<laughs> I forgot I bought the party hat. So the party hat just makes this so much worse. So I don't like farm money. So that's that's the thing. Uh, I don't really do stuff for money a anymore. Eventually, I'm going to want to get a Tavia's. Eventually, I'm going to want to get uh, an Orlando Smith hat back. But like, I don't play the game for, for money. So I don't have a Facella might you have. True. I did do that to poor shame. That's true. Wait, have I ever gotten an offhand rubber chicken? All right, I think we're going to grab the cape now. All right, it is it is cape time. And there it is. All right, hold on. I, I got to put it on. How, how do I put this on? Do, do, do I do I keepsake it? Okay, hold on, hold on. Wait, where is it? Oh, it's it's right here. I I see. Okay, hold on. Let me. Okay, I I I need to go back now. Hold on. <laughs> we need to go back. We we need to go back. We need to go back. Hold on, I, I, I forgot. I forgot. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, use quest game. True. So true. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, we got to go back. We, we, we got to go back. We got to go back. Bro, why is all my stuff on cooldown? Stoked to try BBC main hand. What the heck? Thanks, Dub, for the sub. I appreciate it. All right, I don't remember my colors, though. I think I did... I think I did black for that. Actually, I, I can just check, right? No, I can't. Whatever, I'll fix the colors later. There it is. Oh, man. Oh, true. I can sit on the throne now. True. Uh, how do I, how do I do the emote? Yeah, I can sit on the throne. That's OP.
And there it is. Bro, look at me sitting in the throne. I'm too powerful. Oh my goodness. And there it is. Okay, so I think I'm going to have like a real like party celebration sometime this week. So maybe Tuesday. I'll post something in my Discord for it. But yeah, no, we're, we're, we're done. We finished RuneScape for now. <laughs> oh, man. True. Yeah, because that's when I start the iron. That's fine. There's usually grace periods for that stuff, right? You can go for trim. Um, I will go for trim, yeah. It's something I'm gonna work on very slowly, obviously, but like in, in my downtime when I'm AFKing, that's that's the the plan. It'll be cool to have. Alright, so that's gonna be it for me tonight. Uh thanks everyone for watching. Thanks everyone for showing up. It's been awesome. We're finally comped. Uh, iron starts on Thursday, so you guys have that to look forward to. Uh, but yeah, let's raid out. Uh, everyone on YouTube, uh, bye. And then on Twitch, let's see who's online. Mr. Ryan is online. Uh, he probably doesn't need my help. Let's raid James. James is good people. All right, I will catch you guys later. Take it easy.